The ending of the 2020 Montana high school basketball season left a bitter taste in the mouths of the Scobie Spartans. Scobie was named Class C co-champion along with rival Fairview after the State C tournament was canceled following the semifinal games. Scobie had defeated Fairview twice prior to the state tournament, including a 23-point win in the Eastern C title game, but the Spartans never got the opportunity to finish off the Warriors a third time for a Stolo state championship. It stuck with me all. Ever since that night in March, I mean, I've thought about it quite often, but I mean, there's not nothing you can do about it now. It just, just makes you hungry for this year. We knew what was ours last year and we didn't get the chance to show that so really want to prove that we can do the same thing with this team this year because we lost one guy and he was a beast but it stuck with all of us that are still on the team we have we're returning nine guys so i think the whole team feels the same thing that we did in march and we just want to get to the same spot we did last year and it's a different outcome while it's a new year, the expectations around the SCOBY basketball team are still sky high. The Spartans lost just one starter and return a core four group of seniors that has been playing together for years. Caden Handron, Aiden Fischel, Jace Tandy, and Parker Cromwell have been three-year starters for SCOBY head coach Jason Wolf. In their swan song, that group is looking to add more hardware to the Spartans' trophy case. SCOBY has made four consecutive trips to the state C tournament. The Spartans have two third-place finishes, a fourth-place finish, and last year's co-championship. It's a little bit of a benefit because we're going to have a month's worth of practice, um, but at the same time we're going to have to jam uh, a full 18-game schedule into uh, you know the two months after Christmas. So it's it's really nice to have that experience. Um, these guys have really been in the program since they were in third grade. They've been managers for me, so it's, you know they they're familiar with what we do. They certainly have uh, a lot of gym time in, and so we're we're excited to to have that experience back. I heard a few times. Last year, one of us made a mistake. I've made a mistake on defense. I'm like, you turn your back to the ball or something, and a guy cuts. And you look back there, and they throw the ball behind you, and there's a guy there on your team, like Parker or Jace or Aiden there, to help you out. And it doesn't even look bad on your heart because they're there. It just looks like it's supposed to happen. That kind of chemistry and continuity makes SCOBY the odds-on favorite, but the Eastern C isn't going to be a walk in the park for the Spartans. Defending co-champion Fairview lost double-digit seniors from last year's squad and could go through a bit of a rebuilding phase this year, but one team to keep an eye on is Freud Medicine Lake. The six-man football state champions are going to give teams all they can handle on the hardwood this season as the Red Hawks bring back three all-conference players in senior Colt Miller, junior Javon Nesbitt, and junior Bodie Miller. Add in dynamic freshman Mason Deathman and Freud Medicine Lake has all the pieces to make a deep postseason run. Outside of the Eastern Sea, SCOBY will keep its eyes on teams like Belt, Fort Benton, and Chinook in the North, but Wolf says not to count out Manhattan Christian, even though the Eagles have lost some prolific offensive weapons over the past few years. But the Spartans know that they won't see any of those teams until they handle the business in front of them first. Med Lake, I'd say for sure. They got, they got some guys that are pretty good. I think, I think they give anyone a run for their money in the other side of the state. So. But Manhattan Christian always finds a way. So. Chinook, they're tough. They got... They got a really good guard and a good big kid, and those they play through each other, and they got a few other athletes and some shooters. So I'd say we'd probably see them sometime at the state tournament, but we're just going to take it one day of practice at a time, and hopefully none of this gets canceled. And so we're just not taking anything for granted and just one day at a time trying to get better. You know, we, we talk about the, the overall goals, but um, at the same time they understand that uh, we've got a tough – a tough league over here uh, in our division, and that's really what our focus needs to be um, in the short term. And then just keep our eyes on the on the long term uh, as we as we move through the season. The expectations are lofty in Scobie, and rightfully so. You can bet you'll see the Spartans playing late in the high school basketball season once again. For MTN Sports, I'm Alec Boffinger.